talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV, that's B-O-X-W-I-T, G5 Jeff TV, and if you guys don't mind, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat, Amir King Khan had his return April 21st, had a microwave popcorn performance, you know, minute rice on the stove type performance against Phil LaGreco. Took him 40 seconds to put them paws on Phil LaGreco, and he sent Phil LaGreco on his merry way. Now, Kell Brook hopped into the ring after the fight, as he should have. They got the trash talking, as expected. But after the fight, ESPN uh, reported this with Amir Khan, and I'll definitely put the link in the description. Amir Khan comes out and says he wants to fight Adrian Broner. He wants for Broner to come out to the UK to set up that fight. And it was kind of surprising to me because I thought the only reason why Amir Khan signed with Eddie Hearn was really to get favorable terms on the Kell Brook fight so when he said he wanted to fight Adrian Broner it was kind of surprising now don't get me wrong I like the matchup it's a it's a great style matchup uh for for both guys but I just wasn't expecting American to say that at this particular time especially from a money standpoint there's nothing bigger for Amir Khan than a Kell Brook fight in the UK. Like, there's nothing bigger. So, if I'm Amir Khan, like, why even play around with an Adrian Broner? And, you know, now you got to negotiate with Al Heyman and, and all of that. And I know he's affiliated with Al Heyman, but you still have to talk to someone else in terms of setting that fight then there's going to be a big argument on where the fight should be. And that's always going to be an issue between the UK and a fight being in the States, a fight of that magnitude. So I don't even know why Amir Khan would even play around with that, you know, with that option. But I believe everything Amir Khan is saying in terms of that, because Amir Khan has a great resume. Like, he's fought a lot of different guys in his career. So, the only thing people kill him on is his chin and the fact that he stalled his career out waiting for Floyd Mayweather acting like a groupie. Um, you know, for Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. That's what people get on Amir Khan about. You know, people don't question his heart. People don't question his desire. People don't question his boxing skill or his boxing craft. You can, uh, of course, you can break down some things with him technically, but, you know, that's any fighter. No, no fighter's perfect. You can do that with any fighter. But Amir Khan is one of those guys where he really, when he says that he wants to fight somebody or he is willing to fight anybody, like, I I believe him, to be honest. I believe him. He's even been calling out Earl Spence. And as crazy as that sounds, I, I believe him. I think he would hop in the ring with Earl Spence. I think he would hop in the ring with anybody. I think Amir Khan just has that type of heart. Like, he has so much heart that he's delusional. <laughs> like, like, he's actually calling out Earl Spence. And we're not saying that talent-wise he don't match up with Earl Spence. It's just... Everybody knows Earl Spence hits like a he hits like a super middleweight, like a like a light heavy. Like you ask anybody and they'll tell you the exact same thing. And Amir Khan's like, I don't care, let's fight. But that's why I love Amir Khan at the end of the day. Like he was crazy enough to go up against Canelo. 
And he was winning that fight on the cards. And that's why I always say with Amir Khan, if he doesn't get knocked out, he's going to win the round. And he may eventually stop you. It's, it's damn near impossible to win a round against Amir Khan. He just has that type of style where he always looks good in a round. Always looks good. The only person that he fought, I would say, probably fairly recently where some of the rounds were debatable was um, that Chris Algieri fight. That Chris Algieri fight, um, Chris Algieri was coming at his neck. You know what I'm saying? Chris Algieri is really not known for the power, but he was really coming at Amir Khan's neck in that fight. So he wasn't clearly one of those rounds like he usually does. But that's Amir Khan's game. You know, that's Amir Khan's game. And I wish he would have had a better trainer throughout his career uh, of Virgil Hunter, even though Virgil Hunter wasn't in his corner for the uh, 40 seconds of mayhem. Uh, Joe Goosen was in his corner. I know that was the quickest money he ever made in his life. But if he had a credible trainer throughout his career, I know a trainer doesn't substitute a chin, but it's a lot of times in fights where he got in trouble and it was technical things, technical flaws that I think a really good trainer would have corrected with him over the course of some years, like a Virgil Hunter or a Nazim Richardson or like a Derek James, you know, guys like that that's really good with the fundamentals of boxing. But, I mean, is Amir Khan saying he want to fight Adrian Broner trying to duck the Kell Brook fight? Is he trying to stall it? Is he trying to prolong it? Is he trying to, you know, gain an advantage at the negotiating table by basically saying, OK, Kell Brook, I have other options other than you. I can go with an Adrian Broner. I can go with an Earl Spence. I can go to a Danny Garcia. I can go to a Keith Thurman. I don't have to fight you. I, I think it's a negotiating tactic. Like, I really don't think that he really wants to fight anyone else um, but Kell Brook because he knows how big that payday is. And it seems like he, he over the past couple years, he's been chasing the big paydays. I just don't think, like, over the past couple years, I just don't think he wanted to fight Brook because he didn't want to fight like a fellow countryman. Like, I think that's what it was with Kell Brook but I think eventually that fight is going to happen I just want for it to happen next because I don't want Kell Brook's other eye socket to break in a fight and I don't want Amir Khan to lose by knockout for that fragile chin in a fight before them two guys get into the ring but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section do you think Amir Khan just throwing Adrian Broner's name out there just for to make Kell Brook sweat a little bit? Or do you think Amir Khan is serious about fighting Adrian Broner and having him come out to the UK to fight? It would be big money. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.